Good morning to all of you. It is a great pleasure to address your forum. And I would like to share with you some thoughts of the policy of the European Union from my perspective as Director General of the Environment. Many people today are not still aware of nature's benefits and values. And because of this, we have a serious underestimation of nature's worth and this has contributed to the destruction and degradation of nature. Only some of the benefits which are provided by ecosystems are evident to people, such as food and timber production. However, ecosystems provide a wide range of less visible benefits. Carbon sequestration, air and water filtration, pollination, which is essential for food security, climate regulation protection against natural disasters such as flooding. It is true that some benefits may be difficult to quantify, but they are nevertheless very important for human well-being. Our physical and mental health, our education, providing an inspiration for art, design and innovation, even spiritual benefits rely uh, ultimately on healthy ecosystems. And being explicit about all these benefits can really shift how people make decisions. But we need to do this in a much more systematic way. We need to articulate these benefits and these values. And this is where natural accounting, natural capital accounting comes into play because it offers exactly this. It is, at the end of the day, a way to register the natural assets, whether we are talking about soil, water, air, and all living things. This, we are able to do so with the range of services provided. Accounting can make the contribution of natural capital to economic development explicit alongside produced or manufactured capital and human capital. Ecosystem accounting therefore provides important input to macro level decision making and can help estimate the contribution of ecosystems to the economy. In the corporate sector, natural capital accounting can inform management and it can be used to report on performance. It can also help to describe dependencies in our natural resources, in both physical, but also in monetary terms. Once articulated through standards, national statistics or business reporting methods allow us through natural capital to enter into the ledgers and the boardrooms. And this is, at the end of the day, becoming the normal way of making business of taking socio-economic decisions. This is why, for the European Union, natural capital accounting is so important. This is why we are working with our European partners, with Eurostat, with the Joint Research Centre, with the European Environmental Agency, to develop the first European pilot ecosystem accounts. We are also very proud to fund projects with the United Nations and we are very eager to have participation with countries such as Brazil, China, India, Mexico and South Africa and together with the World Bank to develop ecosystem accounts. And we believe that all this work can feed into our policies but not only into EU policies. We need all this work to feed into the post-2020 global biodiversity agenda and also in the sustainable development goals, without forgetting the importance that nature and biodiversity has in the process of the Paris Agreement, which is also extremely important. This is why your work is vital collaborating across disciplines and countries, developing standardized reporting systems and statistical frameworks for ecosystems. Working in all these areas 
can allow you to contribute to our economy and to our society. And, and furthermore, it can help us to make it visible and it, has, it can also help us to bring this concept into the fore of decision making. Ultimately, natural capital accounting underpins a fundamental concept. And this is that investing in nature is the most profitable investment that you can make. Thank you very much.